minutes to make a paper airplane. We can't wait to see your final product. We are excited because our friends Tim and Ashley Delaney with the Waffle Bar and Bakery are in our kitchen this morning. They are helping promote the Ballyhoo Festival, which happens this weekend in Gulf Shores. Guys, good morning to the both morning. of you. Good morning. We are glad to have you. So Ashley, go ahead and tell me what we're making this morning. So this morning we are making a Cajun crawfish waffle that is going to be on a cornbread waffle. Mmm, Tim, where did this inspiration come from? Well, we like to have different diversity with our waffles and just like to play around with different recipes. So, and we know crawfish is a, a big hit down here in the South. So sure. That's why. Well, this looks really delicious and I am excited to try it. So Ashley, go ahead and tell me about our ingredients this morning and what you've done so far. Okay, so, so far I've made a roux, which is a quarter cup of butter and a quarter cup of flour. And you want to cook it for about four minutes so it's this nice caramel color. And then once it gets to that shade of brown, you want to add your all your veggies. So mm -hmm. your onions, your bell peppers, and then of course garlic, because it's the good stuff. Yes, that's the good stuff for a nice Cajun recipe. Yeah. And then so. this has to cook down for about four minutes until it's tender. The veggies are tender. All right. Well, we will let that. It looks like you are in charge of the waffle yes, over I here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wait for just a second until this is finished. You guys actually stuff it in the waffle, right? It's that's not right. it's not made into it. We don't make it into it. We we uh, dish the waffle and mm -hmm. then we fold it into the waffle and all. Ugh. Yeah. So it's ladled into the waffle and is super good. Y'all will see here in just a few moments. Super delicious. So go ahead and tell me about the Ballyhoo Festival. A lot of folks are looking forward to it. It's going on this weekend. Well, the Ballyhoo Festival is something that me and my wife have done for four years now, and it's lots of fun. There's so much different, uh, so many different artists from around the Gulf Coast region, and um, I, I just looked up that they're going to be doing like a, a, a banjo and fiddle contest. Cool. So seems pretty uh, pretty fun. Yeah, and if you want to attend, it's this weekend in Gulf Shores. Why has it been so important for you guys and your family to be involved for the past four years? Well, we are originally from Gulf Shores, so we like to do anything that we can to support that area of the Gulf Coast. And um, so it's a beautiful location. It's going to be perfect weather this weekend. Um, we're looking forward to seeing all the artwork that the artists are going to be having on display and for sale. So. Yeah. Now, is this a ticketed event? How do people get uh, involved in No, it's in free, but you do have to pay to park okay. across the street at the Gulf State Park. They charge you for parking, and then you can walk over. They have shuttles mm -hmm. that take you to where it's set up. Sure. And um, where is the actual location? So it's Gulf actually State? in the Gulf State Park um, near where Lake Shelby is on that side. Uh, there's a playground there too for kids to play and obviously the lakes it's beautiful views over that way a nice family friendly event if you would like to make your way down to Gulf Shores if you're not already down there um, it seems like a really really fun festival we love having you guys on our show every year to help promote it so we're working on the crawfish waffle but I hear in our last segment we're gonna be doing something sweet too if someone yes. likes a sweeter waffle what will we be making that's then? right we're gonna be doing the is it the cookie monster waffle that we're doing yes the cookie monster okay so I, I need no more details <laughs> I will already love it I promise you that when we come back we're gonna learn more about the waffle bar and bakery with our friends Tim and Ashley Delaney also about the festival that's happening this weekend in Gulf Shores guys thank you so much thank can't you. wait to see what we do to continue with this crawfish waffle Joe that's exactly right Joe Tim and Ashley Delaney are with the waffle bar and bakery right now they're cooking up a Cajun crawfish waffle and that's exactly right you guys are gonna be at the Ballyhoo Festival coming up this weekend yes we right. are well wonderful so right now you're cooking up this waffle Chelsea was with you earlier but what are the next steps that you're doing so the next steps well while we all are away we added two cups of seafood stock we let that cook for about 15 minutes to thicken and then I added some cream cheese to give it a nice creamy texture and then I'm going to add the seasonings which are garlic powder salt and of course Cajun seasoning oh yeah and there then finish that up with some cracked black pepper Awesome. And so focusing more on what you guys serve as a company, this is definitely more of the Cajun, the savory side, but you guys have some other options too. We do. Um, well, our most popular seller is, of course, the chicken and waffle. Ooh. And then we do a mac and cheese waffle, which is where we waffle macaroni and cheese, and then we top it with pulled pork and barbecue sauce. 
I know that that one would be a hit with my daughter. <laughs> yes, she it is, is a, a hit. <laughs> mac and cheese and barbecue fiend. So I know <laughs> that she would really enjoy that one. And so what are the next steps in making the sauce? Okay, and then you want to add your, actually we'll go with the crawfish tails. So this is a pound of crawfish tails. And you want to just cook that till it heats through. It doesn't take very long to cook the crawfish tails. And then you also want to add some green onion to that and cook for about another four minutes. And I can tell you guys that this smells absolutely delicious so far for what they're cooking up to. And just tell me a little bit more about the business and how you guys started up and got this idea to begin. Um, well, we started in 2018 uh, doing local festivals within the county of Baldwin County. Um, I have a background in pastry and I just wanted to do something with waffles because I feel like they're very versatile. You could go savory or sweet. And so we just came up with it, all the ideas for the menu and we just keep coming up with new ones as we go along. There you go, so lots of creativity and maybe if someone has an idea for a waffle, is there things that you can put together at the food truck too? Yeah, if they we just can, wanna throw it together? Usually, yes, we, um, any requests we will try our best to meet. There you go, so you definitely have to go to the Ballyhoo Festival, check them out while you're there. And then what are gonna be the next steps with making this waffle? Next, we're gonna make the cornbread waffle. So what you do is you take and you have your cornbread uh, batter, mm -hmm. and this is uh, basically consists of um, white uh, cornmeal, um, flour, uh, baking powder, um, some local honey from our bee farm, and also uh, some sugar, and I say uh, buttermilk powder also. Yeah. There so. you go. So you got lots of goodies in yeah. there. Did you say your own? Bee yeah, farm? we have a bee farm. It's uh, the name of it's Delaney Honey Bee Farm, and it's out of Loxley, Alabama. Oh, that's awesome! So even <laughs> more local ingredients going yes. into just making these waffles uh, delicious. So how long uh, do you cook that? Nor it nor takes about three to four minutes to cook. Three to four minutes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And so we're also going to put that cream sauce on the waffle. We'll have the finished. Oh, wait, yeah, perfect. That's ready to go. We'll go ahead and put the finished product <laughs> on go. there. Okay. And that so looks delicious, you and you guys, this smells right on. so good, too. Yes, it does. Our son had uh, four of them the other night. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely see that and one being the you hit you top here. it with some green onions, and then fold it up. And we like to serve all of our waffles so that you can eat them while you're walking. That is perfect for the festival, just a nice little hand food there with all of that crawfish sauce. Yeah. That looks great, you guys. And so I know that when we come back, Joe and Chelsea are going to be testing some of these out. And also, you guys are going to cook up something really good coming up soon. Oh, yes. We're going to do our sweet waffles in the next segment. There you go. So coming up, we're going to have all of the details on that. But going ahead. So even though it's National Pancake Day, I have always preferred waffles. I think waffles are delicious. Us so I'm too. happy to have y'all here today. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're going to work on in this segment. Okay, so now I'm going to make our Cookie Monster Bubble Waffle which is one of our top sellers mm -hmm. and we use the Cookie Monster ice cream from Kami's Old Dutch. Get a scoop in that bubble waffle and then you top it with whipped cream. Look at that. That is definitely sweet. Chocolate syrup. Wow. You're, you're doing the thing right now. You're really doing it. Oreos. <laughs> I, I believe in you. Full Oreos. Uh-huh. And then you finish it off with two pocky. What? What was the last thing? Pocky. Pocky? It's, Where's uh, it's pocky? like a Japanese cookie, like cool. wafer stick. Mm -hmm. uh, Gives uh, it some style. What? They're so good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll eat one of them for sure. That looks mm -hmm. fantastic. And tell us about some of the other ones you have lined up here. Okay, so here's some of our other dessert waffles. We have the Nutella and fruit, uh. the chocolate chip, the strawberry shortcake. Mm-hmm. The cinnamon crunch, and then this is our hot chicken and waffle. Ooh. So we use hot honey from our personal bee farm to make this one with some coleslaw to cool it off. And then that's the crawfish what? waffle we did earlier today. This is this is wild. So you guys, I didn't mention your waffle bar and bakery, correct? You're going to yes. be at the Ballyhoo Festival, so you can come on out this Saturday and Sunday and see them in Gulf Shores. Where else can they find y'all? Um, we do festivals all throughout Baldwin County during mm -hmm. the spring. So like Sausage Festival is the next one that we have coming up after The that. Alberta Sausage Festival? Yes, we'll be at that one. All right, a big deal. Hope to yes. see you there. Guys, this looks like fantastic stuff. Any social medias they should follow yes, you Yes, we are on Facebook and Instagram at Waffle Bar Bakery. All right. Ch Ch they're yelling at me that i got to try this Pocky stick. <laughs> <It's> so good. <laughs> oh, delicious. All right, great stuff, y'all. Can't wait to eat these waffles, too. So good. Coming out and see them this weekend. Jen?